you sleep with a different skeleton every night. Your bones, sensitive to your every movement, satisfy your needs with the perfect combination of strength and flexibility. This is how your skeleton stays healthy. Its shape is constantly being optimized by cells that are buried in your bones and can sense strain. But much closer to a happy marriage than a romantic fling, a healthy skeleton is built on balance and compromise. Your bones need a balance of strength and flexibility, and this is reached through a compromise of building bone and taking it away. Like a perfect partner if everything's working right, you can depend on your skeleton to support and protect you. But sadly, it's all too common to see this relationship become more like a divorce. I mean, more than half of you here will suffer skeletal disease at some point in your lifetime. Imbalance, making your bones so fragile they could one day snap. And like a divorce, this is incredibly costly and painful. Osteoporosis alone will cost $40,000 in just the three minutes I'm talking. And a painful fracture is likely to be how you find out you have the disease. But what if we could find out how it all goes wrong and rescue this relationship? I mean, the health of any relationship comes down to the little things, and skeletal health's no different. I'm talking about your tens of thousands of genes, some of which determine how your bones behave. Now, we've known for a long time that genetics has a huge influence over your skeleton, and yet we understand very little about the key genes and specific processes that are required to keep your bones healthy. This has been a major barrier to the development of new ways to treat skeletal disease, and so my research is focused on understanding at a genetic level how skeletal diseases make your bones fragile and prone to fracture. The aim of my research is to find new ways to rekindle the balance of give and take that once saw your skeleton withstand the strains of daily life. So to do this, our lab is working very closely with scientists in London and Cambridge to turn off every single gene, one gene at a time, and then measure the effect on bone strength and flexibility. The enormous scale of this project has already revealed genes no one had any idea influenced the skeleton. Gestures that, when absent, undermine bones, making them easy to break. But it's rarely a single thing that brings a whole relationship to breaking point. And similarly, genes don't work by themselves. They work as part of complex, interacting networks and must cooperate to keep things running smoothly. So I'm measuring the activity of all genes in healthy bones and comparing it to bones that become fragile with a single gene silenced. And this is allowing me to see beyond the individual genes and for the first time appreciate how these actions combine and contribute to the fundamental needs not being met in skeletal disease. By getting to the heart of what it is that keeps bones healthy, my research is working to ensure that your skeleton is the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Thank you. <laughs>